examples. China is a country with diversified religion. Apart from the indigenous Taoism, Buddhism, Islam, and Christianity were introduced from foreign lands. Taoist structures are called Gong or Guan. Mosque is the term for Muslim structure, and a church for a Christian structure. Temple, tope, and grotto are called the three great structures of Buddhism. The layout of the ancient temples was that the entrance gate faced the central main road. Inside the gate, to both sides, were the bell and the drum tower. Confronted was the Hall of God. Followed by the Hall of Great Wisdom. For the back was the Tower of Scriptures, structures of monks' residences, kitchens, and dining rooms were located along the central passage. It was a vivid imitation of the Imperial Palace in terms of layout, structure, and construction. While inheriting the grandeur and the magnificence, the structure created its own unique style. Classical gardens. Classical Chinese gardens emphasizes on the harmony between nature and human. Full of surprises, attention is paid to the creation of varied scenery. With each step, one can see a different scene. Absorbing poems and painting arts, they have formed a unique style. Classic Chinese gardens are divided into the royal gardens in the north and private gardens in the south. Royal ones make use of natural elements, imitation of the best architectures. The best preserved ones are the Summer Palace, Beihai Park, and the Summer Resort. Private ones are mostly seen in. Duzhou, Nanjing, Hangzhou, and Yangzhou, such as Zhuozhang Garden and Liu Yuan Garden in Suzhou, and Jichang Garden in Wuxi, with miniature mountains and rivers and variable scenes. They are natural, tranquil, and small in size. Pagoda originated from India. The pagoda was introduced to China with Buddhism in the Han Dynasty. The ancient pagodas are a combination of Indian and Chinese architectural art with various shapes and forms. As far as appearance is concerned, there are square, circular, hexagonal, and octagonal pagodas. Normally, the number of stories varied from five to thirteen, but it is always an odd number. The existing famous ancient pagodas include the Great Dayan Pagoda in Xi'an. The wooden pagoda in Yingshan Shanxi, the iron pagoda in Kaifeng Henan, the Kaiyuan Si Brick Pagoda in Dingshan Hebei, the Liu He Pagoda in Hangzhou, and the Liu Li Pagoda at the Frequent Hills in Beijing. They reflect the long history of China as well as the high level of architectural craftsmanship. Built 1,000 years ago, the wooden pagoda in Yingshan Shanxi has nine stories and is 70 meters high. It is the oldest and highest existing timber pagoda building in the world. Through seven earthquakes, it remained absolutely still. Bridges. For thousands of years, the Chinese have built a great many magnificent bridges. Ba Chao Bridge in Xi'an, built in the Han Dynasty, is the earliest bridge. With stone piers in China, it is 386 meters long with 64 arches, and it has served as the key passage in the east of Chang'an. It is the oldest in age, longest in span, and most grandiose in scale multi-span stone arch bridge. In ancient days, when people say farewell to a relative or a friend, they would see him off at the Baochao Bridge and break a willow branch as a gift. Then this practice became a local custom.
Zhaozhou Bridge in Zhaoshan Hebei was built 1,400 years ago in the Sui Dynasty. It is the first single arch stone bridge in the world. On its shoulders, there are four arch-shaped holes. They not only save building materials but help ease the flow of water in time of flood.